What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy A. That's Aaron, and we are back again with the Demon Slayer, the Hino Comic Chronicles video. And today, 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 we are talking about what my boy Tenken has brought to the game and what it means for the future of this game when it comes to DLC, Season Pass 1, and New Story. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys like this kind of content, just let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are probably thinking to yourself, like, man, Aaron, they only dropped Tengen in the game. No, 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 no. There's a lot more that came with Tengen than just the character. And there's going to be things that are coming with the with the rest of the DLCs. But first, let's talk about what came with Tengen, okay? So, with Tengen, yes, we got Tengen's character. But it re released the Season Pass 1 on the dashboard, on the console stores, Xbox, and PlayStation. And if you purchase it, you can also see if you can get the summertime version of the Academy characters. That is also neat. I don't really think it's really worth the buy, but you know me. As a content creator, I'm going to have to buy them costumes anyway. So, hey, it is what it is. And as you guys can see right here, they updated the whole roster screen. So, we have six new slots outside of my boy Tengen. And obviously, if you guys have already seen my other videos, um, you already know that the cat next character is going to be... The character that's going to be right beside Tengen is going to be Nezuko's Awakened form. She was confirmed to come out next. And then after that, it's going to be Entertainment Arc Tanjiro, Entertainment Arc Nosuke, Entertainment Arc Zenetsu. Them three are going to be coming out together at the same time. Don't know when, but we do know Nezuko is probably coming out next month. And then uh, Daki is coming in after the Entertainment Arc characters. And then Gutaro is coming out in December because he said there was going to be updates through, the, through July, through December. So that's that. Another interesting thing about Tengen coming to the game is that they gave him poison resistance to a certain extent. So basically, if a character uses poison on Tengen, he doesn't take as much damage and it takes longer for the poison to actually affect him versus other characters. So characters like Shinobu and Yushiro, they're not going to have as strong of a poison effect on Tengen as it was for the rest of the characters. Which means that more than likely my boy Gutaro is going to be coming in the game with some poison himself. So that's going to be kind of clean. And more than likely, Anosuke is going to have that kind of uh, poison kind of buff as well. Because he even mentions that in the arc that he has the poison buff. And so I'm very happy that this game is going to start diving into the realm of like actual special effects based on the characters themselves. So I think that's very badass. Another thing we need to discuss when it comes to these characters is the times that they release. And I found it very interesting whenever the characters release. So, for example, on PlayStation, Tengen dropped at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? Because it, they dropped for Japan at midnight. So, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when Tengen dropped for PlayStation and Xbox, right? But it was kind of weird. So, they you couldn't play with Tengen unless your game had an update. So, at 8 p.m., Tengen was able to be purchased, but it wasn't until about 8.30 whenever the update dropped that you could play with Tengen. That's when the roster updated and everything else was updated. For Xbox, the update didn't come in until 10 p.m. That's the interesting part about it. So we already know there's going to be difference between the two. Uh, PlayStation, the DLCs are going to drop at 8 p.m. Xbox, the DLCs are going to drop at 10 p.m. You know what I'm saying? It's very weird setup. I know. I don't understand it either. It's just it's just weird. Now, when it comes to alternate versions of, like, let's say, like, okay, actually, I didn't even say that. When it comes to the next story chapter that's going to be in the game, it already has been confirmed by Senju in Japan that there is going to be an extra story in the game. Like, how he confirmed there's going to be, how there was going to be an endless mode, and now we have an endless mode in our game. If you go to the main lobby, you'll see it says group mode. So now we have endless mode. We're just currently waiting on an update at the time of this recording. But you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, Aaron, so when they're going to drop the extra story. So I highly doubt, because it really doesn't make sense, that they would drop the extra story at, uh, before they dropped all the characters. Like, they're not going to drop extra story and just only have Tengen. They're not going to add Daki, the entertainment art characters, Gutero, none of them characters, or, or Nezuko. They're not going to do that because that makes absolutely no sense from a marketing standpoint. And at the same time, you guys will flip your ish, which I don't blame y'all for. I'd be kind of pissed too if they did do that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But hey, 
I feel like we're just gonna have to wait for a good chunk of these characters to come out before we expect ourselves to get a DLC because it just now honestly when it came to Tengen I felt like they could have done the marketing a little bit better I really do like the character I just feel like they could have marketed them a little bit better they could have dropped more ads more commercials like we just got a random spring of my boy here but like I already said, the reason why we don't have that much that comes with Tengen, I think it's going to come up with the rest of the story, right? So I think we're going to get the alternate version of his clothes, like the Shinobi outfit. I think we're going to get the Shinobi outfit with the um with the story that's going to come out. So I'm going to say probably, like, don't hold me to it. Probably, like I said, either at the end of all the characters coming out or, like, a little bit between, like, probably, like, they'll probably drop it when Guthrie's dropping. I don't know. That's just me. That's what I'm thinking here. But Demon Slayer is starting to come around as like a good game. Now, I will admit it has its moments when it does seem dead to the community. And you know what I'm saying? I like to play the game because I like the Demon Slayer. But I will admit it, it is kind of it is kind of BSy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm very much excited to see how they're going to play with these characters. So long story short, man, we are going to get a new story. More than likely we're going to get it after all the characters drop. Plus, we're going to get the alternate versions of my boy Tengen and everything else that comes with it. So don't you worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I just want to make this video real quickly to discuss like the future of Demon Slayer, and especially when it comes to Dengen, Tengen, and the Entertainment Arc District as a whole. So let me know what y'all think about my boy Tengen. Do y'all like him? Do y'all hate him? Do y'all think that this game is going to be dead even with the DLC? Do y'all think the DLC is going to be worth it? Just let a young player know, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know. I, I, I like to make content for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So until next time, peace out.